Patrick Bailey just might be the next Buster Posey. Don't believe me? Then you need to watch this video. At the very least, he's the best catcher that you probably aren't paying attention to. Clutch hits. Bailey to left and out of here. Big spot here. Bailey, a ground ball single in the rights. And the Giants have retaken the lead. Framing. will say that I was at that game. It's in an inning. One of the outside corner. Swanson didn't like it. Hop time. There he goes. The pitch up and away. The throw to second and the tag. And he is out. Christian Walker. My goodness. Pack him up, folks. Patrick Bailey, you are worth your weight in gold. He does it all. Now, if you are paying attention and are well aware of Bailey, then support this video by watching all the way through, leaving a like, and commenting below so this video spreads around YouTube. Let's take a closer look at what makes Patrick Bailey tick. First, the hitting. You may see this and be underwhelmed by a 260 batting average and an OPS plus of 98. Seems rather mid, but when you look closer underneath those numbers, you find a treasure of statistical data. First, when you look at his monthly output, you see that it was really a tough stretch in July when opposing teams would be making their adjustments that he struggled. And so far in August, a nice bounce back is taking place. But let's look even closer. Let's zoom into his at-bats versus lefties. He absolutely mashes against southpaws. A 533 slugging and a 908 OPS. Now that's nice, but we can do better. How about when it matters the most? When you need to extend an inning, or you have runners on, or it's getting late. It's check, check, check for Bailey. With two outs, he has an OPS of 859. That's 39% better than the league average in those situations. When there are runners in scoring position, he has an OPS over 1,100. That's 90% better than the league average. And we're not talking about just 20 or 30 at-bats. We have a decent 79 plate appearance sample size here. How about when it's getting late? Inning 7 through 9. He has an OPS of 799, 24% better than the league average. And in situations deemed to be high leverage by baseball reference, he carries a 313, 382, and 479 slash line. Good for an 861 OPS, which is, you guessed it, much better than the league average by 32%. Now let's move on to his work behind the plate, his framing which is true artisanship. He is one of two catchers with a strike rate over 50%, and he gets it done no matter where it's thrown. High, check. Low, check. Inside, check. Low and away, check. You get the point. He ranks above league average framing all corners of the zone. He legitimately makes the entire strike zone bigger for his pitchers. Austin Hedges can't say that. Jonah Heim can't say that. Sean Murphy can't say that. But Patrick Bailey can. Recently, Alex Cobb nearly no hit the Cincinnati Reds, coming within one out of accomplishing the feat. And you already know who was behind the plate. In this game, Cobb and Bailey worked together to generate 28 called strikes and 16 of those were on the black or in the shadow zone 16 opportunities for patrick bailey to do his craftsmanship framing behind the plate so we've established he's clutch with the bat creates a larger strike zone for his pitchers the third key element to Bailey's game is his ability to throw mother effers out. His pop time is second best in baseball behind JT Real Muto at 1.87. Average time is 2.02. .02. That may not sound like much, 
but it's an eternity when you're trying to receive the pitch, transition, throw, and get the ball to the intended infielder. This has led to the fifth best catchers caught stealing above average and a tie for the fourth most caught stealing base runners with the second fewest attempted steals in that group, I might add. Let's just take a moment and enjoy Patrick Bailey gunning people he down. Goes. The pitch taken. Bailey's throw. Tag. Got him. Not hitting 321 in July. Marcano takes off. Pitch outside. Throw down. In time. Shows bunt. Runner goes. And from his knees, they got him. Unbelievable. Now, back to the Buster Posey comp and why I'm making this leap. Buster was solid in clutch moments. Buster could also frame with the best of them, finishing above league average every year after the tracking and framing with StatCast began in 2015 and in 2016 finished in the 100th percentile. And Buster wasn't somebody you wanted to run on. This is actually an area that Bailey may be better than Buster Posey thanks to his lightning quick pop time. Obviously, Buster went out as one of the most decorated catchers in our game with three championships, an MVP, Rookie of the Year, seven-time All-Star, five-time Silver Slugger, and Patrick Bailey still has to write his own story. But out of the gate, Bailey is off to a terrific start. So remember the name, Patrick Bailey. Giants fans, you already know. And soon, so will the rest of the baseball world. Patrick Bailey, you are worth your weight in gold.